Hello, I'm delighted to welcome you this morning to discover the new Jano Leader 33. This new model accomplishes the complete renewal of the Leader line, which now includes five models, the Leader 30, 33, 36, 40, and 46 that are exhibited behind me. Like the Leader 30, this new Leader 33 is available in an open top version with a cockpit arch or a sport top version with an electrically opening hard top, as with the larger models in the Leader line. I would like to invite you on board to discover the interior. Welcome aboard. True to the line, many of the Leader 36's design features are adopted on the Leader 33, but with a deck layout more reminiscent of the Leader 30, with more space, as the deck plan offers the largest possible cockpit saloon. Capacity is optimized with a table that unfolds like this. There is enough space to accommodate a maximum number of guests and friends. Facing the table, there is a cockpit galley with a sink and a refrigerator. This very large cockpit saloon is very friendly and opens towards the exterior via the passage located here to the starboard side. It is secured by this cockpit door, which provides access to the large swim platform that is standard equipment and it is also where we access the sun pad. So, as an option, the sun pad can be enlarged with a telescoping table and cushion that transform the entire cockpit into a sun pad. This way, we have an area further aft more exposed to the sun and a protected area inside under the sport top. It's easy to see the advantage of this deck layout. You are able to set up the sun pad while maintaining access to the entire cockpit saloon and table. This is a feature unique to Jano that is found throughout the leader line. This large platform also provides access to this beautifully sized storage locker. On board the leader 33, there are many storage lockers on deck as well as below decks. Allow me to show them to you. The storage locker accessible from the platform is also accessible from inside the cockpit by lifting the seat. There are other very large storage lockers in the saloon, one of which can be accessed like this. There are two large storage lockers here. This is also the space where the generator can be installed. So the saloon deck is flush, as you will notice here, that there isn't any sort of step. The helm is very interesting because one can drive standing up, or of course sitting down, thanks to this retractable step. The instrument panel is complete, with this very nice Raymarine Axiom screen that gives it a glass bridge look. At the top, there are the analog engine gauges and here on the side, the Volvo Penta digital dual throttle control for the two Volvo D3 220 horsepower engines. As an option, the famous Volvo joystick system is also available. This system lets you control the boat with a joystick for port maneuvers, with controlled progressive lateral movements, as well as movement ahead and astern. It is possible to combine different directions including rotation. At Jano, many of the Volvo options are now standard equipment. For example, the trim assist system that automatically adjusts drive trim for stern drive systems. Just click here and the boat will automatically adapt the drive trim to optimize boat attitude and therefore fuel consumption. There are other functions. There is single lever operation, which is more comfortable, for example, on a very long cruise as it is possible to maneuver the boat not with both throttles, but with a single controller to more simply control both engines. In addition to the Volvo diesel engines I mentioned, the two D3 220 horsepower, Genoa also offers on the Leader 33 the Mercuser gasoline engine, 2 times 4.5 liters at 2 times 250 horsepower, or 2 times 6.2 liters at 2 times 300 horsepower. Above the cockpit, you will notice the very large electrically opening hardtop which comes standard on all sport top versions. The opening is as large as possible. Across from the cockpit is the forward-facing co-pilot bench seat, a unique and very popular feature which makes cruising fun for the whole family. Movement forward is easy with multiple handrails that provide security and especially thanks to the flat side decks that go all the way to the bow. The lifelines are very high and the anchor well is easy to access. 
So, now I propose we discover the interior of the Leader 33. What sets the Leader 33 apart is the omnipresence of light below decks. There are two main reasons for this. On the one hand, it's the large skylights located here that bathe the inside of the boat with light, but also the long hull windows located on both sides. So there is a lot of light aboard the Leader 33. There is also a view of the sea in each living area, whether in the saloon, in the galley, in the bathroom or in the aft cabin. With the Sea Vision package, there are windows in the combing as well. Of course, at night, all of these windows can be covered with either blinds or curtains. As I said in the introduction, the interior of the new Leader 33 is reminiscent of the Leader 36 and its very innovative interior design concept. With the daytime setup, it can be fully opened for a maximum amount of light and views outside. But at night, it turns into a beautiful private owner's cabin, thanks to the curtain system and the pocket door. The advantage of this system is that it is very easy to switch from the daytime to the nighttime setup since the bedding remains in place as we simply pull the frame astern to lengthen the bed up to 2 meters and then complete the mattress with this cushion. In terms of storage, again, here we have a cutlery drawer and here a bar cabinet. To starboard there is a wardrobe and as an option, upper cabinets located on both sides of the bed. To port, there is a beautiful galley with a sink, a gas or ceramic glass hob if desired. There is a lot of storage with the upper cabinets with a lot of volume, including space for the optional microwave. And as standard equipment, a large 80 liter refrigerator. There is even more storage under the sink. The aft cabin is also very bright thanks to the skylight, but also to the long hull window above the sofa. Under this sofa there is a large storage locker, and located at the back of the cabin, a handsome wardrobe. One enjoys the full height ceiling at the entrance to the cabin, and the two large single berths that are convertible into a double berth, with, once again, storage underneath. Finally, the head, located to starboard, is really remarkable for its spaciousness. It can be equipped with a separate shower system, with a shower door, and also has a very clever system to hide the mirror. As you can see, the Leader 33 offers you large living spaces, both on deck and below, with maximum privacy. The new Leader 33 adapts to the lifestyle and pace of each owner. I invite you to go meet your local Jano dealer to learn more about the Leader 33.